Debit? Sure, no problem. We don't budget. Never made a shopping list. Whatever we want, we get. I feel like it's all my fault. I don't think I'm good with money. I've never been good with it. Crazy. Absolutely it is. For God's sakes, you've got all this money. What are you doing with it? Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. My name is Ted. I'm 41. I work as a paramedic. My name is Melissa, and I'm 31 years old. I figure I make about $80,000 a year. I'm a police officer. I think I'm bringing in somewhere around $75,000 a year. We have two children, Amber, who's five years old, and Carson, our son, will be three in June. Most people work Monday to Friday, but we have times where we're completely opposite for three or four days at a time. It is chaotic. We, uh, we don't have a lot of structure in our lives at, uh, at the best of times. The more we make, the more we spend. We go paycheck to paycheck. We don't, uh, we don't structure finances. Uh, we don't budget. We just basically spend our money God knows where. I guess I fool myself going out and spending uh, small amounts, but probably very frequently. We work really hard for our money. We just go out and reward ourselves. For God's sakes, you've got all this money. What are you doing with it? We grocery shop every second day. 22.26. We tend not to look at prices. We don't know what the other person has purchased. We just actually go out and get whatever we feel like getting that night. And then two days after we grocery shop, we'll go out and have something to eat at a restaurant. Mom, can you open my chocolate, please? We're impulsive shoppers, and whether we need something or not, yeah, we get it at a great deal, but we're still spending money on stuff that we don't need right then. Oh, so nice. She's going to love that. I was hooked right from the very first round. Excuses for spending, that's what you're hearing. I don't even know what we spend our money on. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. When we moved from the first house, we wanted a bigger house. We thought we'd take a chance and buy a bigger home and turn a profit on that second home as well. Well, we were hoping to make sixty or 80000 By the time we turned around and sold it, we were probably out of pocket 20000 You know, if we hadn't have made that move, we probably wouldn't be so far behind the ball. We just never seem to get ahead. The constant debt is, is sort of nagging at us. It's emotionally draining. We're in financial distress. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Melissa and Ted have created an emergency situation when it comes to their finances. Their generous incomes are flying out the door as fast as they come in. Now they're in a cash crisis. I'm going to give them some new standard operating procedures. Hi, Gail Vaz Oxley. Hi, I'm Melissa. Hi, I'm Ted. Hi, Ted. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. If you don't mind, the first thing I'd like to do is just have a quick look around. Hmm. Big TV. Do you do a lot of cooking at home, Melissa? I wouldn't say a lot, some. Well, you have a fridge full of food. That's a good sign. Probably rotting leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> this is done really nicely. Your kids don't have bins and bins and bins of clothes unless you've hidden them from me. No, no. Is the bedroom furniture new in your bedroom? Yes, the furniture is new. Is it paid for yet? Loosely, yes. Loosely? <laughs> it's loosely paid for. <laughs> Do you guys work out feeds? <laughs> she can't see the dust, can she? <laughs> <laughs> they have most of the stuff that people generally have in a house, but none of this stuff is extraordinary. So where's all the money going? You've been married eight years? Yes. yes. Lived in three houses? Yes. Tell me that story. <laughs> I fell in love with a floor plan. I guess we didn't number crunch and, and didn't think of the added expenses of a lot bigger house. Yes. You know, what equity was in our house went to, to pay off our line of credit from the uh, from the hole that we'd right. dug ourselves in. And you're starting back from zero. Absolutely. Yeah. And people are doing that all the time. What they're doing is refinancing their homes or taking the equity mm -hmm. out to pay off debt. And that that's a dangerous thing to do because it's just more debt. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you where the money has been going. Is that the phone? <laughs> <laughs> no bell to save your butt. Yeah, no. <laughs> you are so divorced from reality, okay? You think your income is 11. I found over 12. 
Oui. So if you think you only have 11, but you actually have 12, how can you be overspending at all? We never get as far as what we make in a month. We only go by the two week stretch yeah. that time. Waiting for the next paycheck. You will notice in all these categories I have on this screen, you are overspending in every single category. You think you're spending 340, really, to feed a family of four. Did that Isn't come that from interesting? me? interesting. But you're actually spending $1,500 a month. Wow. You don't think you're spending anything in cash. You're spending almost $1,300 a month in cash. We found you making debt repayments of almost $4,000 a month, which is a joke, really. All it means is you go put it on the cards and then you take it right back off the cards again. Yeah. And then there's the savings. You think you're spending $500 a month on savings when actually what you're putting towards Ooh. your long-term future is nothing. Nothing. Everything that's going in is going out and then some. Okay, here's the next one. Does it get better or worse? What do you think? <laughs> Before I show you the screen, let's go over again what you think your debt is. You think your debt is? 50. You think your debt is? 40. Your debt's 48 and change. And considering you never look at the numbers, you have a fair sense that you're in trouble. Yeah. So the question I ask is, if you know you're in trouble, how can you go out? and spend, on a monthly basis, $650 in the discount department store, <sighs> or $986 in hardware and improvements. You're averaging $1,200 a month on vacation, almost $1,300 in cash. So you want to take a guess at what your credit interest charges are a month right now? And that's well, Melissa first. Well, I'm going to aim high. Okay, it's about $300. Let's say you were taking $300 a month and putting it in an education savings plan for your kids. Mm -hmm. They would never have to pay a penny for their own university costs at that rate. But you'd rather spend $300 a month on interest. No. No. <laughs> no. For and, stuff! And, and that's, that's, why we, stuff. That, that's why we need you. <laughs> yeah, we're far worse off than I, uh, I ever believed we were. You're still managing to overspend by $8,600 a month. Wow. I wouldn't have guessed it was that high, but... No. And if you keep it up, in five years, you will owe $1.2 million. <laughs> Sorry. Baby, what's the matter? Yeah. Did I make you upset? No. He did. No. The most stupid overspending. I guess I just, I knew, we ha I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah. When he goes on the computer and stuff, I just walk away because I don't want to know. Yeah. The emotion just came as a result of holding everything in for so long and knowing how bad off we were, but not really addressing it. So um, I, I started to cry because I, I don't like seeing her upset. If you want this to stop, you have to promise me right now that you're prepared to do whatever I ask to get you out of this mess. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You're sure? Yes. First of all, we're going to teach you what your means are and how to live within your means, how to do something other than shop for pleasure, and to work together to take advantage of what you do have as opposed to looking at what you don't have. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to my satisfaction, I'll give you up to $5,000 to pay down your debt. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. Okay. okay. And the next thing you have to do for me is pony up with the debit cards <laughs> and the credit cards, because they're no, going you're... on vacation! Coming up, is Melissa making a molehill out of a mountain? It just says home comfort, and I looked at it in the amount, and I wasn't actually quite sure what it was, so. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Melissa and Ted are too busy to pay attention to their spending. The more we make, the more we spend. Feeling guilty about some bad decisions. I feel like it's all my fault. They've buried their heads in the sand, but I'm hauling them back to reality. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. Just give me the whole thing and I'll just choose what I, what I think they're I want. Worthless. This, I want this, I think, this. I think the rest of them are okay. These are mine. Okay. Bye-bye. Because you're overspending, even though you have this big fat income, I had to go and cut your budget, cutting it by 74%. Ouch. From $11,800 to $3,000 a month. 
you will have $250 a week for food. However, if you keep going out for dinner, this won't go very far. You will have $220 for transportation, $221 for entertainment, Woohoo! $62.50 for clothing and gifts, $15 for other. Because Melissa and Ted have a great income, they have lots of money in their jars, but they're also living proof that no matter how much money you make, if you aren't paying attention, you can still go over budget. I don't think I'll find the jars hard. I think it'll be more of an adjustment budgeting and writing down what we spend, because we've never done that. Speaking of knowing exactly where you stand financially, we come to your first challenge. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around your house and you're gonna figure out what your stuff is worth. So you would come and you would say, okay, this television, we may have paid $4,000 for it, but now to replace it, it would cost us $1,500? Yeah. Yeah. Very often we have stuff that we take for granted. We don't realize just how much of our life's energy we have poured into acquiring stuff. This puts a dollar figure back on it makes us very aware of where our money is going. But that's not all. My dear, you're gonna to have to take over the finances for the month. Oh my goodness. If something was to happen to Ted, right at this point, I would have no idea about finances. Managing money is just not something that she wants to deal with. Just being oblivious to it, I guess, made me feel like everything was okay. The formalist that puts out an APB on their disposable income, she needs to get acquainted with their fixed expenses, AKA the bills. I went through and um, I opened a couple bills. What I actually did was write down on here for myself when each of the ones for the house are due. So Very yeah. good. I know, it's a first That's step. That's so clever. But I'm kind of excited to actually have a little bit more responsibility with this. No more being scared. That's a big step, I think. It's a positive step. All right, we gotta start somewhere, so let's start with your babies. There's a lot in there. I buy in bulk, it saves money. Yeah, well, how much do you think those are worth? 2500 What do you think this one's worth? It is, and I, well, we do realize how much we actually have laid out in, in purchases in the house. So 2000 OK. There's really thousands and thousands of dollars in here. Golf clubs. Golf clubs. It makes some magic happen. OK, babe. How did you do with your challenge? Good, very well, actually. Yeah. In what respect? I had no idea how much we actually had in the house. Yes. I even said to Ted, even after just one week, I feel a huge weight off my shoulders. Nice, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first yeah. time in eight years. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you must really love me then. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so this week's challenge is your life lesson challenge. You guys have been pretty reactive about how you've been dealing with your life. And this challenge is meant make you think ahead before you take action. I will tell you it has something to do with your debt. You're gonna open this envelope, read the instructions, and follow them to the letter. I think the gymnastics club is perhaps a smoke screen for what's gonna take place inside. Curse this debt we're carrying. <laughs> I've made cuts to Millis and Ted's variable spending, and their debit cards are under house arrest. But if they want to earn up to $5,000 to pay down their debt, they're going to have to rethink their hasty decision making. My next challenge will show them that running through life's obstacles, carrying $48,000 worth of debt, is keeping them busy, but isn't getting them anywhere. Ready, go. go. So number one, we have to pick up all the bean bags and the ring pit. Okay. Okay, number two. Run along the trampoline with the bean bags. Easy enough. Okay, right. let's go. Okay, number three. Run across the balance beam with the bean bags. Number four. Crawl through right. the foam tunnel with the bean bags. Okay. Number okay. five. Throw all the bean bags over the parallel bars. Okay. Hey, okay, load me up, baby. Ready? Six. Let's bounce on the mini trampoline while throwing the bean bags over the vault. All right. All right, number seven. Go to the white square and run around the square with the bean bags three times. Last one. You did not have to do activities to the seven. <laughs> One of this activity to complete the challenge. Run through the pit with the bean bags. Excellent. All right. <laughs> She's cruel. <laughs> two to seven was optional. And uh, we only had to do number eight, so I guess that's a, that's a life lesson here. Is, uh, you have to plan ahead, and when you plan ahead, things are a lot easier. Curse this debt we're carrying. If we keep all 48 bean bags, every time we pay down a $1,000 debt, we can 
get rid of a bean bag. Awesome. Did you have fun? Yeah. We did. We had a grin on yeah, our faces was, from the good. start to finish. And did you find it useful? Yeah. yeah. To be was, working together? It wasn't yeah. just useful, it was essential. Yeah. So when you got to the card that said, skip the previous steps, what did you think? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you pass this one with flying colors. Let's talk about your week. So you have money in the jars? We do. Yep. We have quite a bit left. Isn't but it really amazing how much money you have when you actually watch all the pennies? It is. And what are you going to do with all that money you have left? Spend it well, on stuff. <laughs> no, just kidding. We're going to put it into <laughs> an account. We talked briefly about the fact that you guys had wanted to get a consolidation loan. Mm -hmm. And when you came to me and told me what the interest rate was, I said, no, yeah. don't do that. We have an existing line of credit, and uh, what, we're, what we've done is we've raised that okay. uh, that limit, and essentially we got prime plus one percent, so it's actually a very slightly higher rate than our mortgages. When it comes to consolidating debt, it pays to shop around, even within the same financial institution. That's the only way you can be sure you're getting the best rate. So you're feeling pretty proud of yourselves now. I think the, the last two weeks is the first time and I can't remember how long where I haven't actually had to worry about money and I haven't wow. sort of thought about it. It's been great. So you want to hear what this week's challenge is? Yeah. yeah. Well, this week's challenge is your relationship rescue challenge and it's all about having fun together, just the two of you. You have very busy lives. You work shifts and you work separately. You never have time just for each other. So I want you to go and talk about how you can plan to build some fun time into your lives so you can just be sharing it with each other. And once you've figured out what it is you want to do together, I want you to do one of the things on your list this week. Okay? Okay. okay. Coming up, I've given Melissa and Ted a prescription to get their engines ready. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Melissa and Ted have been digging a hole one tuna roll at a time. I've got them back in touch with their spending and planning. With okay, two kids, two cars, and two intense jobs, there's not a lot of one and one time for this twosome. I want them to be creative when it comes to finding couple time. If they complete this challenge, they could get up to $5,000 to help them pay down their debt. You're going down, baby. Okay, Mario, let's see what you're made of. Whoa been spending a lot of time as a family, so having this challenge is going to reconnect us together. Drive the countryside, pack a picnic lunch, and uh, find a nice, quaint spot by a river. Yeah, they have those big fat suits. People get in there and just beat the crap out of each other. That'd be awesome. <laughs> it can't always be about struggling to make ends meet or arranging shifts or schedules. Sometimes it has to be about just having some fun. And I wrote down a few ideas here. I don't know if I can read the next two, but I'll show them to you. Ooh. <laughs> you went on a date? We did. We did. What did you do? We went go-karting. Was it fun? It, it was, was awesome. awesome. Everything's and been family, and I think we realized that we need time for ourselves, too. It does become all about the kids, and sometimes you just have to carve yourself out that day. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So what'd you learn this month? Yeah, it's a P word. The, 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 the pre, so the pre, the, the pre-planning. Pre planning. <laughs> planning was a big thing we learned. We sort of know how much to allocate and where to allocate it. And um, just that little bit takes a, a, a lot of worry out of it. Whew. Yeah. It's nice. So speaking of money, do you have any money left in the jars? We do. You tell me. 220 bucks. Wow. So. so I squeeze you and you still manage to save money. What are you doing differently? You took our debit card. <laughs> When I got here, you were overspending by about $8,600 a month and headed to $1.2 million worth of debt. Oh, just the thought of it makes me cringe, you yeah. know? So, yeah, half of what we're paying to reduce our debt now is what we were paying in interest the loan just before this. Right. I want you to stick to the plan, yes. $2,000 a month towards your debt, and you will be debt-free in one year. Yay. Yay! In your budget, we've set aside $500 a month of savings. That $500 doesn't have to go towards retirement planning for you guys because you both have very rich retirement plans at work. But that money can be used towards saving for the kids' university or saving towards other big purchases that you want to make. Mm -hmm. There's $700 a month in your budget for what I call plan spending. So that may be your vacations. 
you'd maybe go golfing. Ew. <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, together. Together. There's... You guys are golden. We went from no planning at all to looking ahead and making sure we have a plan in place. Yep. Learn to live within your means. And you learn that you have to take time and play together. Yeah. yeah. Because that's part of having a really healthy relationship. Yeah. yeah. I have some helpers that are going to help me now. Hey, kids, would you bring me my black bag? Thank you, Amber. I want you to give this to Mommy and Daddy. Look what you got. You got $5,000 oh, to help yeah. you pay down your day. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know Thanks. that when Gail was here on the first day and put everything in front of us in black and white, I was pretty emotional. And now, Amber, I have something for you to give Mommy and Daddy, too. Then today, I found myself getting all teary but it was positive. Yay, I get the mail. Tell them that what this is, is a weekend away and a round of golf <gasps> at a resort. Really? Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. It's just <laughs> such a great feeling. Thank, thank you, Gail.